On a previous episode of On Wine TV, we came to the Niagara College Teaching Winery and had a look at the mobile bottling service while the winery was bottling some of their 2010 wines. Unfortunately, we couldn't try any of those wines that day because they needed to settle out and go through bottle shock. But as promised, we came back and today we're going to try some of the new release 2010 wines. Welcome to another episode of On Wine TV, the show that brings you the inside scoop on what's happening in the Ontario wine industry. So we're up in the tasting bar with uh, Terence Van Rooyen, the winemaker, and we've got some of the new 2010 vintages that uh, have settled out in bottles. So Terence, what are we tasting today? Um, I'm very excited to be able to show you the 2010 vintage. Um, two very nice wines. We bottled five of them, but um, I'd like to show you the Unoak Chardonnay. Okay. Now, this is the brother of the award-winning 2009 Unoak Chardonnay. Um, I I like the wine very much, basically because it's, it's, it's made in the style of a fruity white wine. Um, an oak chardonnay can be made in different styles, where in, on the one hand you can go through all the actions you would with a, as you would for a barrel fermented chardonnay, uh, in other words malolactic fermentation, maturation on the lees, even stirring up of the lees, but I decided with, with the college wines we have two brands of barrel fermented wines, so this must be as fruity as possible and be in the style of a Pinot Blanc, Sauvignon Blanc, um, something like that. Fresh, lively, fruity. So I'd like you to taste that. Thank you very much. And I know and that was what was great about the 2009. It had that very fresh and lively, yeah. that sort of crispness to it that made it very refreshing. Crisp. Very I, like, fruity. I like crisp. It was... Um, it, it'll never be racy because Chardonnay doesn't have the natural acidity to be a racy wine like mm -hmm. a Riesling, uh, but it is mouth-filling, it is um, soft, uh, but fresh as well, and crisp, as you say. Absolutely. And I'm happy to say we got that <laughs> yeah, on the no, nose, the fruitiness is there. It smells very similar. The fruit just jumps out of the glass there. Yeah. Lots of those, uh, some, those apple and pear characteristics which the Chardonnays usually have from here. And some tropical. There's even some tropical fruit. Yeah, Lovely. I'm even getting some of that uh, pineapple for sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think this wine's definitely ready. It does have that beautiful tropical on the uh, nose and it's got this, it's very fresh, but it's also nice and soft on the palate too. Excellent wine with food. And it'll pair with any kind of fish. Um, even tomato-based, uh, pastas, lasagna, um, you can push it into pairing with that as well. So what else are we trying oh, here? I know you've got a second wine for Second wine, our 2010 College Rosé. Uh, beautiful color. Uh, we make the rosé in the true, true style of making rosé, where we um, uh, get the color by extracting it from the skins for a short period of time. Now, we make this from our own vineyard, uh, the, the Donald Zaraldo vineyard, and we don't pick the grapes specifically for making rosé. We kind of just take an amount when we bring it all in to make our red wines. So when, what I'm trying to say is that the, the grapes are fully ripened by the time we use it to make uh, rosés. Many other rosés are made in a ladylike style, um, low alcohol, 11.5, 12% alcohol. Um, someone said, uh, you know, it's like drinking pop uh, on a patio or so. This style that I make is really a full-bodied, full-blown wine that can pair with any kind of food as well, even meat, even though it doesn't have all that tannin, but uh, chicken and pork. Um, salmon especially, not only because the color matches, but when you taste this wine you'll see um, it is a blockbuster at 13.5% alcohol. 
the grapes last year, 2010, was an exceptional vintage for, for red grapes. And this was made from that, from that point of view. Wow, that does have a great color. It's got that almost orangey tinge to it. Yeah. Okay. So this is the first, the gentle pressing of the Cabernet Franc grapes? Not even pressing really, only um, skin right. contact. Okay. Uh, skin contact for, it was about a day and a half. And then we, we took it out. And yeah, we did give it a very light pressing, but it's more to separate the skins and the okay. juice. Because once the skins and juice are separated, then we treat it as if we're making a white wine. Wow, it definitely has that. Cab Franc characteristic that on the strawberry, nose. very much. It's got that strawberry yeah. and strawberry with like the cracked pepper on top of it. And, and yeah, that, that spiciness, I like that. I, interesting enough, we get this character in the rosé, we get it in the, the, the red wines we make, and we even get that uh, strawberry in the uh, Cabernet Franc ice wine yes. that we make. And that's, to me, terroir. That's the vineyard. Type. Yeah, absolutely. That's a delicious rosé that um, the strawberry definitely jumps across your tongue there on the very palate. Much, it's yeah. very nice and smooth. And I mean, even the alcohol balances out with the uh, strong flavor of the strawberry and a little bit of that spice carries it through. This is definitely a great food wine. And there's good body. Good, the, the body of the wine carries the alcohol. So it, it, there's, there's no burn for me or anything. Well, Terence, thank you very much for tasting with us today, the 2010 Vintage, the new releases you have here. They're all tasting delicious. I can't wait to try the rest once they're ready and out on the shelves. And uh, again, congratulations with all the awards that you've won here this in the past year. You guys are doing thank great you. things. And thank I you. look forward to seeing more coming from you. I'm proud to show off my babies. <laughs> So there you have it. We tried a couple of the new releases from the 2010 Vintage from the Niagara College Teaching Winery and they're both tasting great. So thanks again for joining us on On Wine TV. Join us next time where we go exploring the Ontario wine industry. Oh, that's really good. <laughs>